What's up guys, this is Jay here with Jay Media one and today we are out for another product tech review, cool gadget review. Today we got the Blackboard. The Blackboard is a reusable notebook. It's good for writing notes, marking up documents, or sketching out ideas. This is an 8x5x11 semi-transparent writing tablet. It has instant erase, exact erase, erase lock, and it has a stylus with an eraser. There's four templates and a magnetic pen holder as well. And once again, we've never seen this product before. It's brand new in the box. We're just going to open it up today and see what we find. If you look, it just comes in a cardboard box, nothing special here, a little hanger. If you look on the back, it does say that there is an app for it. You can capture an archive with the Blackboard app. So that's kind of cool. Um, so let's just check it out. I'm gonna pop around this tape. Because I did not bring my exacto knife. Once you get the cardboard open, you can just go ahead and see this clear piece of plastic that it sits down inside of. If you look at the front, it does look like there's stuff on it right now. Um, to the side here, there is a little stylus. And you can notice that there is a little tip here for an eraser. It's got a little clip on the pen, and then it's got a pretty stiff tip to it. It's actually pretty hard. It's not soft like a, one of the other rubberized stylus that you would see. This one's actually pretty hard. And it says boogie board on the side. This is really a good size. And then it comes with these, which I guess are the templates. So you got one with dots, like if you were doing graphing, something of those sorts. And then we have one here, just looks like regular college world paper. So we're not going to use that one yet. Um, it does come with a little bit of material here, but there's nothing exciting, not even any instructions on this, on how to use it. So we're just gonna have to figure it out. I don't believe there's anything in this that we missed, but let me double check. Nope. Completely empty. So that's out of the way. It looks like you can probably use this side as well if you just want like a, a blackboard type look. And then, oh, on the back side of this one, we also have like a split view with, you can put little notes on this side. It looks like a little chart on this side. So there is a back piece that comes off of this because it is completely transparent. You can see right through it. You can see my hand here. So it is completely transparent and it looks like on the back, this is where our instructions are gonna be. So it says you can clear everything with a single button touch. To erase the entire writing surface, you just slide the lock switch uh, to the left and then press the clear button So there is a switch up here That you can switch to the left or to the right and I'm guessing this is the clear button here. I Can kind of see things kind of going away when I do that. So I think we're on the right track We may have to come back to this These products are not mainstream they are definitely just gadgets that we happen to come across and I like doing it that way. It's cool. It's different. So you can see that there's two little sliders on the back. We're going to slide that paper up through the sliders and there's some grippy surface here. And then at that point, we have our writing surface exposed. I don't know if we can just start writing on this, but it looks like it.
And when you write on it, it kind of looks like that. It's highlighted. I don't know how much glare we're going to get here, but there's definitely a highlighted surface right here. If I write bigger, maybe you could see a little bit better. It's cool. There's definitely some kind of like gel material or something underneath this. It's not magnetic like some of those magnetic boards, but there is something underneath that's reacting when I touch the pen to it. If I flip it over and I try the eraser, it doesn't appear to be doing anything. This actually feels like a real eraser. So I'm not sure how that's going to have to work. I might have to read a little bit more into that. So if we hold the clear button down, you can see it slowly just kind of fades out of the picture. And then if we write again, you can see it again. So it does seem to work pretty well. Um, the surface of it is not really, it's not glass, it's plastic, but it does work. You can kind of hear it's a little bit kind of paper-like feeling when you are writing on it. It feels comfortable to write on. It does not feel difficult, but it's, like I said, it's not like glass. It's nothing like it. It's more of like a plasticky feel up here. I think if you switch the lock over here to the lock position, it kind of locks everything in so it can't be erased with this button. And when I push that, it doesn't seem to want to go away. There is a battery component location right here in the corner. Most likely that is a watch battery, like a CR2032, something of those sorts. So basically this just gives you a template. It's got to give you that dark background so you can actually see what you're writing on. If I flip this back to clear and I hold down the button, it's all going away. Now there is a little bit, I could still see a little bit of writing on this. It's not completely gone. So I'm not sure if that helps if you keep holding it, if it starts to go away um, more. It does say on here that you can calibrate the exact erase. If you are satisfied with the erase results, there's no, re no reason to calibrate. Otherwise, if you're not satisfied, it can be calibrated to diminish smudges or dimming by continuing steps three and four, which is to press and hold the erase button after sliding the uh, slider over. Okay, so I think I just figured it out. So... If you hit this button, it slowly fades out what you did last. So if I type, if I write high on here, it's like that. And I hit this button. Well, that's the lock button. If I hit the erase button, it kind of fades it out. So I'm guessing that's your last thing that you wrote, but it's not completely gone. If I write it on here and I push this big middle button, it's gone. It just completely wipes it off. This paper, I noticed, does want to slide in and out, but I don't exactly have it tucked underneath there the way it's supposed to be. It's really got to slide underneath this lip. Pretty, pretty tight to get the exact uh, fit, which is a little bit difficult. So, you notice when I write on here, hi, guys, what's up? It doesn't look bad. I mean, it's, it's like a greenish color, nothing super bright or anything like that. I'd like to see if it can go white. Um, I'm noticing when I put my fingers or something else on here, there's these little smudges that show up, so I'm not exactly sure what that is. The erase doesn't seem to do anything. It's just kind of smudging what I wrote on there. If you notice, there's little fingerprints here that show up when my fingers are on it. So I'm not sure if this uses some kind of heat sensing in order to, to get it to change colors the way that it is. But I can, it does erase really quick if you hit this middle button here. Let me try one more thing. I'll try to go in between the lines here. Yeah. 
it's J. And then we'll just draw a little guy. So that's what we get. Not too bad. You do notice it. It does show up. Um, I think it's kind of cool. I don't know if I would use this in like a, a business application. I'm trying to put my thumb fingers on this to see if it's reacting to the heat. If I leave it on there long enough, it does seem to want to pull some of that green color back up. But it does erase really quick. I think it'd be cool for taking some quick notes. There's not really a magnet around on here or anything where you can stick it to the fridge, but that would be a cool application for it. Let's see if this is magnetic. Yep. So this little slot down here where the pen goes in is magnetic. And that'll keep it from sliding off at least, which is kind of cool. You could mount this if you were to hang this somewhere on your wall and just use it for little notes around the house. Okay, so there is an app for this. There's a ton of Blackboard apps out there, so you have to type in Blackboard by Boogie Board in order to find that it. it's a productivity app on the App Store. If you're looking on the Google Play Store, it's probably very similar. You can write, sketch, and doodle on the Blackboard, says the app. So you have to set it up for the first time, so we just click Continue. You scan the Blackboard using your camera on your phone. And then it asks if you have the smart pen. If you do, you press the carbon copy logo to connect to your pen. And then you write. Press the clear button to erase. Basically tells you how to use it. Enable crash reporting. Sure. So we click on the scan button. It asks if you can use the camera. We have to scan it here. Don't know how well this does look glare, but it seemed to pick it up pretty good. So we're just going to click that area. And we'll hit next. We'll save it. It asks if you want to let it use your calendar. We'll say OK. Save. It's taking a little while to load here. Here we see it. We see a copy of our slate. We can add an image to it if we want to. We can edit it, whatnot. This carbon copy button will instantly stream your notes to the phone. That's kind of cool. So let's connect the pen. Press and hold the button until the LED light blinks. This is if you have a smart pen. Definitely not the pen that comes with it. Because I don't see any button like that on the pen here. So if you go into settings, you can click on pen settings here. There is a pen that they sell with this, but the... Uh, the one that comes with it, or at least the one that I got in the box when I purchased it, is not the same pen. There's an upgrade version. You can do quick photo saves. I think that this carbon copy feature would be super cool. Um, we're definitely going to have to uh, dig into that a little bit. But basically the way you got to have saved notes in here is you have to take a picture of the notepad. So, not the greatest thing, not the worst thing. It's just that uh, there are other boards out there on the market now. They're a lot more expensive, but there are other boards that will instantaneously save that to the board itself. So overall, I think it's a pretty good device, guys. Um, there are better ones out there. Of course, the price point on this thing makes it super cheap. And if you just need something for note taking, uh, maybe at school or around the house, um, I think it's a pretty cool item for the price. I would definitely check it out. Uh, with that being said, 
thank you for watching if you like this video like if you would like to support the channel subscribe and we will see you guys next time